The National Cocoa Awards 2020 was launched virtually today. The vision remains developing professionalism among cocoa producers and long-term sustainability of the supply chain. DK Rasta tells us more. The launch of the second Trinidad and Tobago Cocoa Awards affirms that there is national interest at a policy level in keeping local cocoa producers engaged with international markets. The theme of celebrating the value of our Trinitario culture and diverse flavors also pays respect to the over 800 persons still involved in our first national agricultural export. This year, a third category has been added to the awards, that of microlot composite from a geographic cluster. This ties in with the cocoa development company's efforts of structuring 18 cluster communities of farmers among the cocoa growing communities of Trinidad and Tobago. The 800 plus farmers making up these clusters were functionally organized by the CDC and have been grounded in the business of cocoa bean production and trained in using best practices. Leroy Peters and his wife Gita are cocoa producers who won the 2019 award. Mr. Peters spoke of some of the recognition the award has gained them. In my little village of Grand River, people came to realize that cocoa production was, was really exciting and profitable. When they saw the products we made and heard where cocoa is being sold, it generated a new excitement around cocoa and the production of cocoa. A lot of people, young people, started to get involved in planting cocoa. So while cocoa may no longer be king in Trinidad and Tobago, the food of the gods is definitely becoming a mover and a shaker once more on our national landscape. DK Rostar, TTT News.